is moving forward with its investigation, scanning the ocean for debris and trying to figure out what led to a catastrophic implosion that killed five people shortly after they set out on an expedition to view the ruins of the Titanic. Those following this story have probably heard all about carbon fiber by now, the composite that was on the hull of that Titan submersible. So here in Georgia, Paulding County has a low profile carbon fiber industry. Eleven Alive's Doug Richards has a closer look at why the material used to build the Titan really matters. At this aircraft manufacturing and engineering facility in Paulding County, carbon fiber is the material that drives business and secures the structural integrity of aircraft. Engineer Greg Kress says carbon fiber starts as a cloth-like fiber, add resin polymers, and it cures and hardens into material that has replaced old-fashioned metal in many aircraft parts. The carbon fiber material is super reliable, Kress says, but he adds that if it's inadvertently struck or nicked by something, it can easily be damaged. Because any kind of a scratch, a nick, or a gouge, or a hole is going to cause a stress concentration. Kress says carbon fiber can be safe to use in submersibles like the Titan, but it's not safe unless it's thoroughly inspected with ultrasound equipment. That's why non-destructive inspection is so important with composites, especially on a structure where if the structure fails, it can cause loss of life. Kress says despite the accident, carbon fiber isn't going anywhere, but he predicts there will be more rigorous testing by those using it. In Paulding County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.